Hey guys, so it's the time of the week again where we analyze the top stocks that you've requested via social media. So we're going to talk about ISM, IRC, VUL, AC, and so much more. The top stocks that all of you have been watching throughout the week. And I hope this gives you value. And I hope that this serves as a reference point as you start analyzing and trying to win in the markets. So check this video out. Hey guys, so before we start this video, I'd like to invite you to the next set of Stock Smarts events over the next few months. This February, I'm, I'm gonna be in Qatar for Stock Smarts Qatar. Then after Stock Smarts Qatar, I'm having a session with Sean C talking about make money, grow money, Feb 13 in SMX Aura. Then after that, Stock Smarts Manila this March. After Stock Smarts Manila, I'll be in Cebu, first week of April. Then after uh, Stock Smarts Cebu, I'm doing Stock Smarts Singapore uh, this May. Then July, I'm doing Stock Smarts uh, CDO and Iloilo. Then to end up this, to round up this sessions, I'll be doing Stock Smarts Hong Kong this August and Stock Smarts Taiwan in November. Again, uh, the goal and the heart of all of these sessions is really just to give you a strong framework that wherever you are in the world, you can trade the markets and you can win. That it's not based on how smart you are, but it's based on the amount of hustle that you are willing to put for you to win. And it's based on the amount of effort that you want. Because at the end of the day, you don't have to rely on hype. You don't have to rely on speculation. You don't have to rely on uh, rumors for you to win in the market because everything you need to know is found on technical and fundamental analysis. Okay, so we're live. Good afternoon, guys. It's 4.20 in Manila. It's, I think, lunchtime in Dubai, Qatar, for those who are in the Middle East. For those in Asia, we're almost at the same time zone. It's afternoon. For those following me from Europe and for and I guess the US, good morning to all of you. So this is part of the stocks by request sessions that we do on a weekend, which is longer. Now, for those who have been following me for quite some time, you would know that the longer stocks by request are done uh, during the weekend than the shorter ones are. Uh, I don't know done on a weekday depends on how i normally would go with my uh depending on the times again especially if i start traveling that's where the schedules become crazy but uh january as what i've mentioned for those who have been following the older videos i take this time also to rest relax and at least uh unwind and plan for the year you also take you also must need that eh? you need that if you are an entrepreneur you're an investor you need to be strategic on the way you do things you need to allow yourself to uh i guess rest and not just rest think strategically of how uh, you will win for the long term so there that's one then uh just a quick plug for the series of events that i'll be in starting february things will be a bit crazy in the schedule uh feb i'm doing uh stock smarts qatar then after that, Feb 13, Make Money, Grow Money in SMX Aura with Sean C. Then after that, uh, Feb 23, another uh, event in SMX Aura, The Basics of the Market. Then March, we're doing Stock Smarts Manila. Then April, I'll be in Cebu and Japan. Japan Investing Insights, that's Investing Insights with Randall Chongson. Then after Investing Insights with Randall Chongson, I'll be uh, May naman is Singapore. Then June, we're gonna go, July, we're gonna go to Iliwilo CDO. August, Hong Kong, November, Taiwan. So, uh, if you're new to this, comment below uh, your name, where you're from. Then comment also what stocks do you, uh, that you actually want us to discuss and talk about. But just a heads up, note to people. Uh, I think the the thing that has changed over the past few weeks is that the market has started to bounce over the past weeks. So, meaning if you are just coming in right now. Uh, your buy points, your areas for you coming in may not be as effective for as compared to those who went in weeks earlier when the market was bouncing off support levels and as compared to others who were buying when the market was breaking out and compared to those who were buying also when uh, from a position trading standpoint, reversal started to happen. So the context now is for me and my opinion, it's either you've already positioned and you are just thinking whether you want to hold or you want to sell or if you haven't positioned yet uh 
are there some buys yet in the market so please comment that below and we now have people joining us so let me greet people first before we start this Trish Balila from Dubai Dennis Paderes from Pampanga is asking for FGen you also have uh, May Galvan, uh, sabi niya, hello Sir Marvin uh, Jovin Rabanes from Cebu, I hope to see you there this April Carlos Albano from Ilocos Norte Macy Mercado asking for PAL For PAL, no, I created a post about it There's a video and a blog about it It's in marvingermo.com uh, Please remember, PAL is pretty much driven by the ANA deal uh, that, that, that news item that came out That Ayun, uh, it created positive sentiment, syempre money will be infused. And another thing that you must consider there is what price did ANA per share buy PAL? Because uh, whatever the price of PAL is, yun yung hahabulin ng, ng market. So it's actually, ANA is actually saying that this is the price of PAL because they were willing to buy it at that price. And of course, if it's a large institutional buyer, it's normally bought also at a relative uh, discount of sorts. Uh, from what it's supposed to be. Effie Noiha is asking for IMI. Uh, this is Balila. Oh, yung neighbor make me, ano, merong, uh, meron silang roosters. And I'm in the south. May Galvan asking for FB. Jinky Padua from Japan. Uy, Jinky, I'll be there April 13. Hope to see you. Uh, Tommy Lee asking for PRMX. Romel Cruz, Nickel, Philip Di Mabuyu asking for CEI. Carlos Albano for PHA. Tommy Lee uh, asking for CHP. Kristen Cedreca. Sir Redrica from Davao, I remember him very very well. Okay, so let's start though. No? Uh, I I want to go first with hmm hmm. What could we start with? Okay, Greggy Atos asking for FLI. So let's let's analyze FLI. Let's see, let's see, let's see. So, by the way, no, for those who are joining us, they're asking, uh, most of the time I normally talk about technicals more than fundamentals? Yung fundamentals kasi, as long as you know the principles, you'll do very, 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 very well. Uh, fundamentals, as long as you know what to buy, it will give you the conviction already and those principles don't change. Eh. Yung interesting kasi sa technicals is that, uh, the conditions, the narrative for buying and selling, yun yung nagbabago dun. So, for fundamentals, you don't need to really check it on a weekly basis because it doesn't really change as much. Unlike technicals, yun, nagbabago yun on a regular basis. So, let's look at FLI. FLI first is this. Uh, if you've noticed this, I've talked I've talked about this in previous posts also that uh, FLI, if you look, it, it tried to hit the resistance at 1.65, which after hitting the the resistance at one, the 1.65 area you have two touches here ready you have the the a bullish candle which retraced intraday after hitting 165 and fell down then the next day tried to hit this uh re hit the resistance retraced and now it's still uh, retracing and going down so the narrative there is it will possibly go back to the support at 1.5 pesos per share now the thing on how you analyze uh, fli is that there's a support at 1.5 after the support at 1.5, there's a possibility that if it holds this level, uh, if it starts to hold this level, it can start bouncing back again and it will go back to 1.65. If it doesn't, it just will retrace and I, I believe will go back here to the 1.45 level per share. So for those who took profits at the 1.65 area, uh, congratulations to all of you because that was a relatively... Uh, that's that's a relatively amazing uh, that's amazing take profit point if you are a short term investor. James Esteliades asking for Bloom and CHP. James tagasan ka comment below as well. Uh, let's look at Bloom naman. I posted in Bloom. Uh, I, I I think I did a, I did a series of videos about Bloom and I mentioned in other videos that uh, Bloom has been reversing already uh, from a stock that was uh, generally dropping and falling for quite some time. It's now starting to reverse. And if I'll zoom in here, this is how the uptrend uh, looks like. No, So you have the lows being formed here at this area. So this is low, low, low. So it's now uh, at least in this progression uh, starting to hold. And one thing that's interesting here is this. The 10.2 support level, which I've mentioned in previous videos as a level that's pretty somehow strong, uh, is holding. So why am I saying this? If you own Bloom and you are a position trader, pretty much the, the stock is still in its uptrend. You don't need to sell yet as of this point in time. If you are a quick trader, just respect this 10.2 level. If, if 10.2, 10.25 holds, you don't also need to sell now I'll, I'll try to zoom in a bit so at least you have a, 
a, be, a, a narrative also for the short term. For the short term, there's another resistance here. However, uh, if you'll analyze it, the if you want to analyze it, no, oops. If you want to analyze it, you could check it out. This spread is not as it's not as big. But one thing I know is this: uh, the resistance, the short term resistance, is at 10.9. If it breaks out of 10.9 it could possibly attack and go for the next resistance again which is around 11.7 pesos for the short term i repeat you have a resistance at 11.7 pesos so a breakout from the 10.9 level could give bloom a shot to go to 11.7 uh, but as it continues its upward projection to 10.9 failure to break out from it will just show you this um, it will just go back here so if this will progress, the possible move for this is gaganyan lang din siya. If it fails to break out, then it will go here. So is this a tradable range? Puede, but your gains won't be as attractive. So to summarize Bloom, for quick traders, the short term range is 10.25 to 10.9. Breakout from 10.9 will be will bring it to the resistance I, I pointed out, 11.6, 11.7. Failure to hold 10.2, uh, it will also nullify the uptrend. No? So if it needs to hold 10.2, if you're a position trader and that's something that you need to watch out for if it does not hold 10.2 it could possibly retrace to 9.8 or 9.6 pesos per share we have rex uh sabi niya, watching from iloilo asking for mpi so let's look at mpi right now uh mpi is basically this trying to remove some of the know so it's easier for you to also see no mpi uh, if you follow the previous videos that I I created, it's still progressing in its uptrend movement. So this is now the upward projection. The upward trend line is this. It, in spite of it uh, retracing last week, it's still above its upward trend line. And this is what I believe. As long as it stays above right now 4.8, 4.9, uh, the upward projection. Here's how it is. You are a position trader. If it stays above uh, if it stays above 4.9, hold. I repeat, if you are a position trader, it stays above 4.9 and it bounces off 4.9, no need for you to sell because the uptrend will just continue. It will still continue to be bullish. If you are a quick trader, uh, it's very specific also. 4.8 is a support. 5.1 is now a resistance. Failure to, failure to break out of 5.1. Let me show this to you. Failure to break out of 5.1 over here. Failure to break out of 5.1, which is where uh, the short-term placement is move moving. It will try to do this. Failure to break out of 5.1 will just bring it here. So if it hits this and it does not hold, it can go straight here. But if it does hold, it will bounce and hit this level. Now, at 5.1 though, if it breaks out from that, here's the, the, here's the next narrative. I believe MPI could possibly go to around 5.5 pesos per share. Now, another thing that I'd like to stress no, is... I got a couple of messages asking, Marvin, but ganun, MPI is a good company, maganda yung fundamentals niya, why is it not uh, moving up? Please remember this, uh, fundamentals does not answer market direction, it only talks about value, meaning if the value is good, it tells you that you have nothing to fear should prices go down because later on, as the market starts to appreciate it, anything that has amazing value will go up. It's just that now, it's starting to move up, but it's not as fast as what you're expecting it to be. So what you need to remember, failure to break out of 5.1, it will drop to 4.8. Break out from 5.1, it will go to 5.5. You are a position trader, the stock is still bullish. And you know what? You know what's the technique, the logic, the narrative? Hold on to stocks that are bullish, milk them as as much as you can, because that's how you win. Alright? So next. Uh, you have Mini De La Cruz. Mini's a top fan. No, hello to you, Mini top fan. I honor. By the way, to the top commenters and top fans, thank you so much. Uh, you make what I do fun. Uh, it's you guys who make whatever this is uh, amazing. That's why I, I won't stop doing this because it's just funny. Eh? And for those asking questions on what business to start, what investments to do, find something that you love and find something that you know you're good at because if you do what you love, you will never work a single day in your life. The end. Next. Uh, 
That's oh, Mini Dela Cruz asking for Taga Quezon City asking for Bloom. Tapos na tayo sa Bloom. Marcos Antonio, another top fan asking for Wilcon Vita IRC. Okay, let's look at Wilcon naman. Wilcon, no, I created a video, uh, IPO video of Wilcon when I was in Japan, and I'll be back in Japan again. So I might do an parang two year anniversary video for Wilcon. You have to remember, Wilcon did an IPO uh, last 2017. So let's look at it first from the time it did its IPO in 2017. I'll zoom out. So here's how it looks like. The major uh, trend for this, no, if you draw this further, still it's pretty much in a very, 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 very strong, solid uptrend. And you can put a baseline support here, and another one here, and another one somewhere there. So for people watching the major uptrend for Wilcon, and especially for those who came in very, very, very early, congratulations, it's way in its uptrend still. You are a strong position trader. No need to sell as of this point in time. Maximize. We have to remember no, that Wilcon also dipped at certain portions, but those are healthy movements downward. As long as it's uh, steady in its uptrend, you don't need to panic, you don't need to sell. And either way, good or bad movement, you don't need to panic because emotions will make you lose uh, in the stock market as a whole. So, there. Uh, what else? So, position trader, if you're a position trader, maximize the trend. You don't need to sell yet. If you are a quick trader, let me show you the next positions that you need to watch out for. So for quick trading, naman, I'll try to zoom in so you see the narrative. For quick trading, here, uh, there's a resistance that started to form at around 14. So the, the, the possible narrative is you will possibly have a support at around 12.45 pesos per share. Uh, that's this is the this is the levels that it will possibly go move and attack. So, quick trader number one, if you sold at 14, congratulations, it's not wrong to sell there just as long as your sell signal was the resistance at the 14 peso level. You did a good job, basically. Next, because of it not breaking out from the 14 level, there's a possibility that it will hit and go to 12.45. Now, what's this? What's the technique there? If you are a quick trader, hits 12.45, hits 12.5, quick trader, buy. I repeat, hits 12.45, 12.5, quick trader, buy, and set your target price to around 14. So you can't really expect the yield for this to be as big, but it's a 13, 12.8, 13% trade still, which is quite decent. So what you need to exercise now if you're a quick trader, if hindi ka nakabenta at 14, and it hits 12.45, 12.45 becomes a buy signal. Buy at 12.45, 12.5, take profits at 14. If it fails to hold 12.45, short-term downward movement will bring it down to around 12 pesos per share. So there. Uh -huh. Marcos Antonio, pala ulit. So we have Fer Anastasio from Dubai. Wow, there's a lot of people from Dubai. By the way, I'll be in Dubai also. Uh, with Randall Chongson for Investing Insights and RFP. This, it will be uh, this March. Naman. So a lot of travels over the next few days. So uh, let's look at Costco. So Costco. Oops. There. Okay. I'll zoom out so you have a larger narrative for this. Ayan. So the uptrend for Costco and you are a position trader. The, the stock is still in its uptrend. Uh, you are a position trader. Hold, exercise, patience. You don't need to sell yet. Follow your conviction, follow your plan because as of this point in time, the stock is still bullish. The stock is still in an uptrend. No need to sell. I repeat, position traders, the stock is in an uptrend. Hold your positions. Now, if you are a quick trader, it's now at the resistance. No, the resistance is at 7.5 pesos per share. So why am I saying this to all of you? Uh, sh for the short term, I'll place my support here at around 6.5. So for the short term also, if it does not break out of the 7.5 level, uh, there's a possibility that Costco will retrace, hit this. If this does not hold, it will hit this. If it this does not hold here, it will go here. So three possible landing spots for Costco. Number one is this area, 7.1. Number two is the upward trend around 6.95. Number three is the uh, range, the stronger support range at 6.6. .6. So three particular areas where 
Costco should it fail to break out of 7.5 so here's the thing quick trader fail to break out of 7.5 and you're a quick trader you can take profits position traders we don't have a sell signal right now but because should it fail to break out of 7.5 it will go to 7.1 fail if this does not hold it will go here to 6.97 if it does not hold it can drop to 6.5 6.6 pesos per share for the short term breakout from 7.5 though as you start to zoom out it will it will give you another target price at 7.8 so i repeat breakout from 7.5 short term possible movement will bring costco to around 7.8 pesos per share okay uh tommy lee prmx chp irc june coral asking for ism and vita june coral is a top fan marvin janido from dubai hello to you uh tommy lee pogi daw grabe naman yun nga, kaya nga ako nagsa-stock sa hindi ako gwapo eh. Yun yung maganda sa stock market. You don't need looks to be able to excel in it as well. Uh, June Coral asking for X. Verden asking for Ali and DD. top Verden is a top fan, no? We haven't done, uh, we haven't done DD in quite some time. So, let's do DD naman. Uh, DD. Alright, DD. DD, if you look at it, hey, it's still in its uh, pretty much solid uh, downtrend no so if you are a position trader highly recommended to stay away from the stock yet I, I repeat if you are a position trader I highly recommend to stay away from the stock first because there is no reversal signal yet in sight next if you are a quick trader though uh, let's show you this I'll zoom in here uh, you have a support level here you have a resistance here so for those who bought at the support, very, very clear and a very, very textbook. And that's why I like technical analysis because everything you need to know is found in the charts. That's why I don't base my decisions on news, hype, speculation, my friend, or other people around me because everything can be found here and it's sustainable. You can build a strategy around it. And that's what I advocate that you live your life, decide you're winning in the market at your own terms. And that's how it's supposed to be. So now, if you are uh, positioned in double dragon the take profit signal should have been a 22.4 as you see here there's a pretty solid resistance here after hitting this level you're seeing the stock start to hesitate eh? uh, buying at 17.25 and selling there is still a respectable 30% return uh, so now uh, because of that it's there's a short-term support here that's starting to form but if you if you check the narrative of the videos that I've created longer support ranges are stronger weak weaker ones if it gets challenged there's a possibility that it may not also hold so one thing that i know is if the 20.30 level which is a weaker support does not hold it could just go back here so if you are a quick trader bounces of 7.25 buy and set your first target here at 20 then set it next one to 22.5 so just to summarize dd position trader stay away it hasn't fully reversed yet. The fully re the, the full reversal will happen if it breaks out from 24. If you are a quick trader though, uh, you should have taken profits 22.4. It's now back at a short resist support at 20.4. If 20.4 bounces, it can go back to 22.4. But if it fails to break out of 22.4, it can go back down to around 17.5 pesos per share. Next, uh... June Coral asking for SMC top fan June Coral Jovin Israel Rabanis from Mandawi City asking for ISM uh, Jovin no uh, to those of you guys from Cebu I'll be there April naman for Stock Smart Cebu Mikey Seredrica hi to you as well uh, what about VUL is it with a bearish or bullish bias uh, JS Rosales asking for MPI I've talked about MPI you just have to go back there Tommy Lee there's no such thing as a stock of the a year the year your your goal is to find buy signals and just focus on that and that's how you win if there's such if there's something as a stock of the, of the year anusha everyone would be billionaires eh? but there's there's no shortcut eh? uh, I hope this is a reference point for you as you start studying your stocks but don't use what I say as something that you will buy just because it's spoken uh, for you to win is you finding out those buy and sell signals out of your own merit, out of your own risk tolerance, out of what you know is something that's worth buying based on the characteristics and the parameters that you have set because that gives conviction. That's something that's sustainable and that's something that you can do over and over and over and over. There's no shortcut. Eh? I'll keep on saying this. There's no shortcut 
in making your way in the market you will make mistakes you will lose money but the goal is to just keep on keeping on keep on doing keep on pushing because as you keep on pushing as you keep slugging out you gain the experience you gain the knowledge and you will gain the fortitude that you can actually do it and you can actually win as long as you dedicate your time also to do it as well so there uh i want to talk about again let's talk about vul first vul uh vul it's it's this you have a support here at 1.5 for vul so if it holds this level short term movement will bring it to 1.6 next next is it will go to possibly to 1.9 so again uh, if it bounces off 1.5 1.55 it's a buy target price is 1.65 breakout from that will bring it here if this does not hold uh it will break down and it will become relatively more bearish problem yeah there's no strong uh, support uh, watching out for it no so if it fails to hold that level uh vul could possibly retrace no the possible retracement for vul is it could go here back you have to remember stocks that go up too fast it's not that it's wrong it's just that hey no support protecting it if there's no support protecting it if there's nothing strong enough that will protect it it could possibly go down much faster and much deeper and that's the uh, that's a negative side of stocks that go up too fast there's no protection if it goes the other direction next let's talk about ism naman some greetings also Ayan, Ronald this year asking for ISM. Resti Rosales asking for IRC. Paolo Omipon from Cavite asking for AC MPI. Paolo, tapos na tayo sa MPI. Just go back to the previous videos. John Michael Aringhai from Cebu City. Wow, daming taga Cebu ah. Uh, hope to see you guys uh, in Cebu uh, this April. Ang daming taga Cebu. Hello sa inyo mga bay. John, one thing. One thing though. Uh, volumes for for ism have dropped significantly over the past uh over the past eight weeks meaning you have to remember what moves stocks is a lot is participation Siyempre buyers but you want uh you want a large commitment of buyers heading in and committing to the stock for for them to particularly buy so since december the stock for ism has been pretty much consolidating already the consolidatory range uh, is this particular level so uh, for by the way the lines that I'm using here are all Fibonacci retracements for those who attended our stock smart session just go back to your notes uh, of module 4 of technical analysis but what you know now is this you have uh, moving average confirming and also MACD also confirming that we don't have momentum anymore for the stock you have moving averages comment uh, revealing also that you have resistances here and the stock has started to break down so ism is currently at the resistance of 6.1 6.2 if it fails to go up next week it could possibly retrace and go back down to the 5.5 .5 level for the short term so i repeat ism fails to go above 6.1 6.2 uh, it could possibly retrace and go back to the 5.4 level for the short term please remember ism is just moving based on news it hasn't really shown anything yet about profitability so that's the problem with stocks that move based on news once the news dies down or the news later on is not as favorable it might start to break down and you have to remember while this is all happening it's competitors globe and pldt i, I believe they're gonna shore up they're gonna do something to when they start to enter uh they will have a hard time getting market share so there uh Anilek Presencia asking for Ali. Uh, John Michael Aringhai uh, from Cebu. Uh, Marlon C asking for PCOR. Uh, Robert Fontanilla asking for ECP. Weng Prado asking for AC. Let's look at PCOR. No, I haven't really touched PCOR in quite a while. Na rin. Uh, are you guys are, are you guys still okay? We're now hitting the 30 minute mark. Comment below if you're enjoying. Comment below if you are learning. Uh, again, narrative is just to give value, as much value to all of you guys as possible. So, this is how Petron looks like. Pretty much, you know, if you're following Petron and you are a position trader, it's still on a downtrend. You are a position trader. Stay away from the stock. You are an investor. Ako, I don't like Petron as a long-term investment, primarily because it's pretty much uh, susceptible to the global movements of oil prices. That's one. Aside from it being susceptible to global oil prices, its income is not increasing and growing. For those who attended our fundamental sessions, you know what I'm talking about. There are particular... 
characteristics that we want if it has to be a long-term investment. The only investment, the only reason you want to come into Petron right now is if you are a quick trader. And let me show you the narrative of Pico, uh, of Petron from a short-term perspective. It's pretty clear that the support for Petron is at that 7.65 level, which from the past has started to hold that level. But your resistance right now, uh, you could peg it around 7.9 or 8 pesos per share. So for those who bought at 7.65, congratulations. Uh, your target price should be at 8 pesos per share, 7.9 or 8 pesos per share. As it goes here and it fails to hold on to this level, take profits. It, and uh, and it doesn't go and it doesn't break out you just sell as it will just go back to 7.6 pesos per share but a breakout from that level will just could will just bring it upward to around 8.28 so your narrative is breakout from 8 will bring it to 8.25 8.3 uh, failure to break out from 8 will bring it to around the 7.7 .7 level so uh, petron is just a play right now for quick traders i repeat petron is a play for quick traders if you're a position trader, stay away because it's an, in a downtrend first. As of this point in time, the reversal for, for it to move from bearish to bullish is it must break out of 8.65, around 8.7 uh, from a position trading standpoint. If you are an investor, no buy signal yet as well. All right, let's continue. Let's continue. Uh, Jansen, Jared, hello. Well, Karangian asking for JFC. Call me idol. Wow, thank you, Efren. Pagtakhan asking for to go. Amor Leo, who's a top fan. Asking, oh, from Japan. Whoa, are you coming? Uh, again, Tokyo, ah, huh? Amor Leo. I hope to see you in Tokyo, April 13. Investing insights with Randall Chokson. Uh, asking for Mega Wide, naman. So let's look at Mega Wide. Mega Wide, no, and Mega Wide for me, fundamentally sound, not just a solid company. Ang galing, eh. I've been to the Mactan Airport way before the airport got finished, and the way they're handling it, it's amazing. So. Investing, mega wide is good. It's now a question of how know how much do you know your valuations to help you know when to start coming in for the stock as well. So let's repeat. For those watching mega wide, it's a fundamentally sound company. Uh, with it being a fundamentally sound company, uh, the narrative that you need to follow and watch out for is basically the valuations. What should be very very important for you now is you come in at a price where it's very very attractive for you. Now. If you are a trader, uh, look at this. From a position trading standpoint, this is the this is how it looks like. You have a very 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 strong resistance here at uh, 19 pesos per share. That's what's protecting uh, the stock from heading up. Now, so for those who took who bought at 13.9, 14 pesos from the bounce of that support level and sold at. 19 congratulations you did well you are good you are crushing it from a shorter perspective though uh it's still consolidating with with the resistance somewhere here so it's pretty obvious also that there's a support at 17. um there are, for those who bought at the 17 peso level which is our support range very very good it will continue to move up around 18.8 .8 pesos per share so what you need to follow through is as it goes towards 18.8 .8 and it doesn't break out, my suggestion take profits, take profits as it could retrace here. But if it breaks out, suddenly mega wide turns from bearish to bullish, and you can expect a larger a larger upside for the stock. And here's the thing: if it continues to break out of nine of that level, I believe the next target price for it is mega wide can continue uh, to go to around 20.6 pesos per share for the short term so there uh john aring hi uh mrsi clip core ivin de la cruz asking for annie uh annie pusher should i invest in it in them now or too or, or is it too early if he's from valenzuela edson potasio mpi done already uh soledad lomboy uh asking for a brokerage Ke uh joan manalo fajardo asking for italy I'll, I'll give you a link. We're trying to see how many people from Italy can attend. So I'll let you know. It depends on uh, the number of people who would want to attend there. Ted Lang asking for SEC. Larry Agapay from Pampanga asking for DD. Tapos tayo sa DD. We've done DD. Uh, Bel Peña from Mutinlupa asking for MPI. We've done MPI also. Ariel Marzaragaso asking for TEL. From a position trading standpoint, not TEL is still on a downtrend. Uh, James Esteliades from Sharjah, UAE. Uh... Joy Fajardo from Italy. 
John Michael Gorodolan Cartahora asking sir how do you filter stocks based on technical analysis I just watch as much stocks as I can that's it no shortcuts I just watch as much as I can Marlon C from Dubai we've talked about Petron already Eric Alicod then asking for MPI done also for MPI Angie Vargas asking for CLC IMI IRC we're done with IMI and IRC as well tapos na okay madaming AC so we'll do AC Richmond Velches asking for AC. Alright, so AC. Okay. AC, look at it. It hit the support uh, last Wednesday. This is a support level for it. It bounced. Clear bounce, no? Short term resistance will be around nine, 935. So, what you need to watch out for is if it does not break 935, I believe it will go back here. Uh, it will go back to the 900 level so the goal is to buy at 900 sell at 935 the next question there is sulit ba yung gain dyan? this is only a 3.5 percent uh spread so it might not be a sulit uh what you need what will what you could watch out for is if it breaks out from 935 because if it breaks out from 935 the next uh possible resistance will be around 1000 so uh if you bought at 903 and it breaks out of 935 your spread will be around at least a decent 10% and if it breaks out of 935 uh, there's the narrative there is suddenly Ayala Corp turns bullish once again please remember no it dropped to around 900 because of Mitsubishi selling it and I've said this in previous videos that I've made it's not wrong for people to sell because that's part of the game uh, you need to sell to take profits and people sell for a variety of reasons so you have to establish what's your reason as well because that's what's gonna give you winnings in the market so i guess that's it uh thanks to everyone who sent your messages huh? uh as promised I'll, i'm gonna keep doing this over and over and over and over again because it's amazing and i love it and i'll do us uh, this is my contribution to the next generation because i really believe that we deserve better that this generation of filipinos will be one of the wealthiest generations ever and we're gonna show the world that it can be done that it's not that you don't have to be an employee to be prosperous and you don't have to go abroad eh? that money can be made here that you can build your portfolio you can build your business you can win based on your own terms that it's not dependent on the economy around you but it's independent it's dependent on how much hustle and leverage you put because that's how you win and just do it over and over and over and over again don't focus on a jackpot because if you focus on a jackpot that's where you lose it filipinos love jackpot so much that as they love jackpot so much they fail to build the skills the money skills that will help them win over and over and i hope that you guys develop it because if there's one thing that you've noticed here this is not about get rich quick it is about getting rich but the right way you've got to fall in love with the process because the process is everything the process is the game the process is what will take you from this level to this you got you have to love loving this and not just focusing on what you get when it's up you focus on how you build yourself and how you make yourself go up and that's how it's done so that's it for now comment below by the way I'm still gonna do my segment on me calling you if you have any specific questions send in your phone numbers and I'll call you and we're gonna do a video together so that's it for now Marvin Germo I'm headed to Qatar next week hope to see you there I hope this video helps you trade well trade strong trade smart see you all again soon guys and God bless you all